you've talked about the the threats, the safety concerns of AI. Let's look at long term visions. Do you think Neuralink is, in your view, the the best current approach we have for AI safety? It's an idea that may help with AI safety. Um, certainly not. I wouldn't want to. I would, wouldn't want to claim it's like some panacea or so, it's, that's a sure thing. Um, but I mean, many years ago, I was thinking like, well, what? Um, what would inhibit alignment of human collective human will with uh, artificial intelligence and the low data rate of humans, especially our our slow output rate, um, would necessarily just because it's such a because the communication is so slow would uh, diminish the link between humans and computers. Like the more you are a tree, the the less you know what the tree is. Like, let's say you you look at a tree, you look at this plant, or whatever, and like, hey, I'd really like to make that plant happy, but it, it's not saying a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the more we increase the data rate that humans uh, can intake and output, then that means the the better the, the higher the chance we have in a world full of AGIs. Yeah, we could better align collective human will with uh, AI if the output rate, especially was dramatically increased. Like, and I think there's, there's potential to increase the output rate by, I don't know, three, maybe six, maybe more orders of magnitude. So it's better than the current situation. And that output rate would be by increasing the number of electrodes, number of channels, and also maybe implanting multiple neural links. Yeah. 